Dungeon Dark Siders. We're gonna play a bunch of Ring Fit, and then maybe at the end of the night we'll try out uh, two new JRPGs that I was sent. Uh, Did you get Hero me to Land. join you? What was that? Did you get me to join you? Uh, no. I haven't done that yet. Sorry, my headphone cable does not reach as far as the mouse. Uh, but I got a Star Ocean First Departure R, which is like the port from the PSP, which should be kind of good. I hope. And then the other one is Hero Land, which looks like it might be funny, but I don't know about uh, plot depth or anything like that, but it'd be kind of fun to take a look at. I do not remember where the ingots are in this map. I remember where a couple of them are. There's actually one really close to where oh, you yeah. are. Found it. Yep. Okay. That was one I had found last time. So I... you just need to summon me. I love the fact that you can just, um, give me a second. But no, when I really loved that short instance where I was playing Warrior, I really liked the way he played too. He's a solid character. I, I was kind of saying this, uh, I have no idea I'm going to handle re recording or processing any of this. Uh, let's see. What do you mean by processing this? What's wrong? Just trying to figure out where you'd spawn. Maybe that... It'd have symbol? to be one of those pillar crystals, maybe? Oh, there's a conversation here. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll just go back a bit and then grab you there. Uh, but I almost wonder if they're, the mechanics for war specifically are slightly more refined than Strife. Because, I mean, honestly, half these animations seem to be just what they were in Darksiders 1. They probably wanted to make him as close to his incarnation as possible. It certainly feels like it. Like, even these segments here where I'm, like, platforming around, these are straight up, like, the same... I wonder... Same... Yeah, and he just really seems miniaturized in, the, in this environment, so... Yep. And I can see how, like, the change in camera angle would be a bother for some people, but for me, like, it still feels the same. Though... I think when we were discussing it the last time, I do wonder why there haven't been more campaign games with the option to have two players playing it throughout like I would, a normal game. I would love it if this just became more standard. Because, like, I mean, obviously, we've got two copies for this, but, like, I would buy so many When have you ever found a campaign games? game where playing it from the... Like, just over-the-shoulder perspective was common. Uh, I mean, Mass Effect. But you couldn't play through the campaign that way. Together. Like, oh, yeah, multiplayer. There's, yeah, there's there's no multiplayer. But that does have over-the-shoulder. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I suppose we were playing a little bit of... What was it? Uh, the Blood Game. Blood Game. The, all the emo vampire kids. Oh, Code Vein. Yeah. Yeah, Code Vein. Yeah, Code Vein is definitively a uh, third-person action game with co-op and stuff. But it, the co-op felt like it was tagged on. Uh, it was very Dark Souls co-op without a whole lot of thought put into it. Oh, no. no, no I could have made it. Let's see. Didn't Inquisition have campaign multiplayer or just PvP mode? Inquisition had a co-op mode where you could kind of work together with uh, with other players, but it was very much like a... Uh... I just want a game where you can co-op together. Have them as your other party members. Yeah. I... Like, I, if Dragon Age 5 just had co-op where one person, the host, is the main character, and then everybody else is just like the... Uh... Extended party. Yeah, like, say we played Mass Effect, whatever. Uh, I got a chest here if you want to help me bust it open. Sure. Um, like, say we played Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. I get, I just got to play as Garrus the whole way through. I wouldn't care if I didn't get to choose what Garrus got to say. I would just be glad to be running around as, like, your second shooting things. And I would pay, yeah, the full price for a second copy just to have that ability. I, but I, I also didn't mind when we were playing Tor how there was an instance where 
I think it was only True. for the in-between... It was it was uh, a mini-dungeon with, like, a story to it. Where they would actually have the ma the player characters take turns talking. That was cool. I don't know how much that would... Oh, destroy 25 barrels It would barrels be really cool, though, yeah. if there was a game that eventually took into account party members and their individual reactions to things. Uh, I mean, lesser degree, kind of... Uh, wasn't that how Divinity Original Sin had it? Yeah. So, kind of there you go. Yes, but that's another isometric. True. I think it's just because it's it's easier to... There's a guy up there. Uh, let's see, I got a co-op chest here. Sure. These guys are unwilling to come down from their vantage point. Oh, the Old Republic stopped doing those co-op things after the initial release. Really? Expansion stuff is based around one character only. But was this... This was when we were doing, what, a... We were going between planets and... Well, it was, was after we finished the first planet. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, you're going, too, you're going oh, too far up the sorry. stairs. Yep. Okay. Uh, but it was after we finished the first planet, we were shipping out to the next or something? Yeah, and then the ship was attacked, so they're like, oh no! Yeah, and we had to like deal with the Sith or something. I thought that was clever. It's a shame they got rid of that, but it kind of makes sense. Because people probably don't generally care about that kind of content. It's not replayable. I love the animation. If you're near a cliff, war will just straight up punt people off the side. Mm -hmm. That happens sometimes, too. It's magic. One thing I will say about this game, there's a lot more customization for war. Like, I can change my, uh, well... Maybe not customization, but there's kind of a progression. Because my, best? like, uh, hit ground send swords up thing has a huge AoE to it now, which is actually really nice. Yeah, at some point we'll have to get that second wireless dongle. Yeah, that Just because I think there's something sticking. Well, the other thing we could do is actually potentially plug in a uh, PS4 controller. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Like, your, uh, if that's an issue right now, we could potentially just plug in your eh, PS4 controller. It's not controller. so much of an issue that it's game breaking. Okay. Yeah, because it was interesting. We went out on. We, I'm. I wouldn't consider myself a Black Friday shopper, but we noticed that there were some deals for Chromebooks and stuff for, and we like to write on smaller laptops in bed or something. I have so many notebooks chock full of well notes that i take for stories and things and i need to organize it so i find myself constantly tearing pages out and putting them in these binders and such and i was thinking to myself you know what it'd be lovely if someday i could just type all this information up and then maybe if i want to add it to my we're my climbing compendium. up your shell by the way okay sure my compendium binder i then add it to well i type it up and then add it to the binder, and it would be very clear, concise writing. But, oh, what was it? So yeah, we went out there, and it was interesting because they actually had some steep sales on controllers, specifically PlayStation ones. And they have a lot of new colors, and I remember for a while I'd been ogling. I think Wander got a black one initially with his system. But then uh, I'd gotten him a blue one for the holidays a long time ago so that we could have two controllers. But the purple one just looked cool. And I'm like, mm, well, we don't really need a third controller, right? And the funny thing was, at the store, let's see, they had all the other colors but purple. And I was going, huh, you know, it must be the popular color this year. Except I saw one that was just hanging out in the DVD section. Someone must have abandoned it. I was like, yes, it is mine now. It's, it's amusing when that happens in stores. Have you ever had that with bookstores or libraries and such? Where you're looking for a particular book or item and they say, oh, sorry, if it's not on the shelf or it's not in the right place, then someone must have taken it out or purchased it and whatnot. But we then- We had that with something. Huh? It, I think it was a game console where like, 
they were totally out and we found like the one hidden in the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> and we were just like, oh, hey. But honestly, I just don't do retail shopping enough for like commodity items. So it's never been an issue for me. Oh, do I go over here? Yeah, you do. And then I go up and go around. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you, Weasel of Doom, for the... Uh... Let's see, one second. Is that Weasel, Weasel of Doom? Yeah, for, for gifting a sub to... Ah, uh, And uh, Darkness Engineer. And also, thank you, Darkness Engineer, for the 20 bits. There's a bunch of critters I'm... down here. Kill them. I think they won't... Oh, okay, there they are. They're, they're starting to emerge from the pit. Down into the flames from whence you came. You Ouch. Are animated right now. I have chocolate. Oh. Or had chocolate. That'd do it. Clearly, clearly you just need to bite the bullet and accept the uh the like five pound chocolate bars. What? From Trader Joe's. Then we'd never run out. Nah. I don't like the flavor of those things. Oh, but they're super good. Okay, uh. let's do a three, two, one. Okay. Okay. I think that works. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm worked. having a problem. Shell? Yeah? I think I have a problem. Are you stuck? Yeah. Here, let me close on this On the plus for side, you. my dick's a lot larger now. Um, come on, out. Uh. On the unfortunate side, you gotta push it in. There, there, are you out? Are you... Come on! I died. Oh, great. Now I was stuck. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey, that I'm worked. I'm free now. I just had to explode a bunch. Oh, did you put down bombs or something? Uh. Also, do we have all the ingots that we need? No. We need one more from inside the dungeon that we have to come back out. But we just have to remember to emerge and then input the, the ingots. Where's the music? I haven't heard it much lately. Uh, yeah, it was kind of quiet. God, I heard it there for a it bit. Hot in here. The bars is fogging up. One of the many reasons I choose not to hide behind a ridiculous mask. Wait, that's not a mask? Oh, I am so sorry. I, there's no music. Yeah, there's no music for here. Oh, okay. For me either. I, I'm a little concerned because we were... I heard it earlier. Oh. There's some critters. Okay, I got the last of the ingots so we can pop right back out. Kind of works. I wish I had immunity to the lava on the ground. Mm -hmm. It might... A day one patch might have messed around with it, or who knows what. Because, yeah, there was some pretty sweet music, and now... It... Uh, I'm... Okay. I need to use the, this weapon. Where's my electric weapon? I prefer that one a lot more. Uh, you should have access to it. Yeah, it's just it's hard to switch in the heat of battle. Also, I'm not facing the right direction because of that glitch issue. There we go. This guy hurts. There we go. There you go. You got a good finisher on him. He still hurts. But yeah, there should be music here. Maybe it'll fix itself once we leave the area. Yeah, because uh, I, uh, I hope that there wasn't... Whoa, 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 I was following you like a lemming. It's not good. <laughs> so, I really hope that there wasn't... A patch that was a like, patch down that was with like, the music. No music. Well, I mean, on the plus side, we do we do actually have the soundtrack, like, on order, so... Well, it came with our collector's edition. You d Don't tell me you bought another one. What? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're annoying. also going to have a really cool Strife statue. Yeah. Is there any way to get the other statues without buying the special editions for them? or do you I think have... we could buy them separate at this point. But that would probably be through... I don't know. Through their official site? Yeah. 
I could look it up. It would be kind of a it would be kind of fun to have all four. You need assistance from an ally. Yeah, there's some music. Well, here. But I remember the dun the Let us see what we can make of this. Yep, oh, there we go. We that was it? We just got a mysterious object that there we go. Complete. So we destroyed the barrels and we got the Hell's Forge. So not honestly worth it. Okay. Well, at least we got it. Now, do we have to finish the level or do we? can we leave now? I want to say it's saved. We could test. Uh... I mean, to be fair, the benefit for us doing that was small. Also, it looks like it's saved there. Oh, it does say progress will be saved. Okay. Because I was wondering if we could just teleport back to Volgrum yeah. and call it that. Okay, so let's do Ice Icebind Cavern. Scrying Eye. So do you need money for Twitch Are Prime? Are sure this is hell? I could live here. Oh, right. It's this not out of play. This is a realm of endless suffering. Embrace the desolation. It suits our work. Embrace the desolation. <laughs> Do you ever listen to yourself? Volgram mentioned four beacons that must be lit to unlock the temple entrance. Then let's get to it. Ice bind. Uh, let's see. So to answer the question, I... Uh, oh, hello. We've got this here. Well, it looks like hell froze over. Yep. To answer the question about uh, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime comes with Amazon Prime. It doesn't have as many uh, perks as it used to, which is unfortunate. But isn't that only for one person? Yeah, you only get one sub equivalent. You do get some, um, I believe you get like little perks, like free games and stuff. Uh, so, for example, uh, I got... For the I got a, uh, a spare deck for Magic the Gathering Arena. <gasps> ah, I want to play more Magic the Gathering. You could try it at some point if you wanted to. I think baseline, I'm still always going to be... But I really liked the version that we played where we could team up. In Feria? Uh, well, oh, Feria. two-headed giant in uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers. Yeah. I don't know if that exists. If that exist existed like a co-op comp stop mode... I'd probably be up for playing more of it, just because. This looks like it's another area intended for horsies. So it is. Ooh. I'm gonna explore this area quick first. Ooh. That was a no. no There's horse zone. boatman coins over here, Shell. Okay. Also, here's the music in mass. It's kind of loud, honestly. Nope, oh, I woke something up. Ah! Hey, we oh, it's that those. guy. Yeah, we we fought these guys before. Oh, it's the menu song, but more. Wow, you got him. Oof. That was a good finisher. We're gonna. Turn down the music just by a smidge. The finishers have always been some of the best I've seen. I want to say God of War had really good ones, but I God of War had slightly less enemies. I really like games that include finishers. They're a little gruesome, but yeah, they're good. Well, it's just so that you aren't whittling down and hacking and slashing at an enemy until they finally fall over. Yeah, it's kind of like a, you got them to the kill point. Now here's your, like, reward. Go up through this guy? Uh, no. Ooh, there's something interesting up here. Ah, and a bunch of enemies. Andre, let's not get too far apart. Yeah, I just, I'm trying not to progress too far. Mm hmm Well, this isn't progression. This is, like, definitely a side area. It looks like it needs whatever activates that panel. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll acquire it in this world. 
That'd certainly be nice. Now, this is called the Frozen Cliffs. Oh, you were there with me. Yes, yep, I'm up here. Sorry, you must not have been moving much, so I didn't see the smoke. This is going to be a level we're going to have to backtrack through. Mm hmm. Probably. Well, is there anything that's. Oh, another one of those. Oh, things. it's the introduction to these monsters. Slumbering cr critters, <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I am just chaining oh, between one animal. goblinoid creature and another, going, you're done. Man, the violin here. It's super good. You oh, there we go. Shot. Denied. Don't forget, by the way, you might have a synergy move. And if you don't have it yet, you can buy it. Yeah, I'll have to buy it. Whoa, those guys do not look like they're... they're see how they're hovering above the staircase? Yeah. Collisions. Okay. Question. Can you light that one? one yep. Ah, so we have to light all the beacons. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. There we go. So it's That's, the four. That makes sense. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Still reminds me, yeah, very much of the old dungeon scheme that I always liked with the Legend of Zelda games. The You need to go to different corners of the dungeon and get various parts or pieces to something. I'm fine with that. Yep. Like, I wish there were more games with with Zelda dungeon styles, because it is... I, I feel like level design got weaker as graphics got better. Mm-hmm. And admittedly, this is still kind of level design light. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of complexity in, in the environment we're traversing. But it still feels good because we're kind of exploring an area and there's stuff to do in the uh, all over the place. Little bonus side routes and whatnot. Ooh. Oh, look at them. They're freezing. Did you see how they were chilling? Except for cold, yep. You made a mistake. Pay the price. You're just going to be hearing this song a lot today. I'm almost reminded of Xenoblade. Whoops. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... They keep spearing me out of the air, which is actually quite annoying. Because unlike you, knockback probably uh, isn't that Oh, this is killer. bad. Okay. So, I was stuck facing left when I needed to face right. I'm dead? Okay. Yep, yep. Your ally needs your help. Yeah, they just stunlocked me. Wait, ouch. Come on. There you are. Finish. Yeah, I was supposed to be doing, like, finishers, but I kept getting stuck or, like, knocked around. And it uh, didn't work so hot. All right, let's light oh, we, this one. We have to. We have to chain more. Oh, there's all these torches up here. But there's also that there. Yeah, you're right. Hello? What's going on? Do you need to send it in this direction? No. Something wrong? It's just uh, odd controls. There we go. Yeah. The second beacon lit. The aim button is the same as the dash button. Mm. And if you're not quite aiming right, you'll just dash away and cancel the whole thing.
Oh, have you been uh, equipping creature cores? Oh, I haven't yet. Might not be a bad time. Okay. So where would I go about doing that? Is it journal quest area map collection? Under? Yeah. Uh, it's creature cores. But where? Like, Press under? start. Creature start. cores. I don't see it. Really? Oh. Huh. Weird. I, maybe it goes for both of us. Are you sure it's not just a play, like a a oh. passive bonus to everyone in the same instance? It could be a host situation. I think it might be. Yeah, but we might have to get uh, a wireless controller. Okay. Uh, do we want to set up your... Here, let's finish this level and then set up your... Your PS4 controller. Yeah, because there's just something that's sticking in one direction or another. This one's easy. One to too easy. Yeah, well, we'd already finished this. Ah. This is the first one you're supposed to do to kind of teach you, like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't paying attention. It's interesting. There doesn't seem to be too much that's, I don't know, unique about this. Have we found any... Interesting collectibles yet? Yeah, we've passed them. What do you mean? Check the map. We missed some stuff. Okay. Hmm. So I just found a chest that we just run past. And there's a boatman coin around here. Oh, but this is this is stuck. Right, right. That's behind the crystal. So there's no way we'd get that. Everything else seems to be marked off. Where's that boatman coins there? I really wish for the map it actually did show where where we are currently were. I don't quite understand why it doesn't. Oh, where it has a red dot for war and a purple dot for strife? Yeah, they should do that. Okay, and there should be a health upgrade around here. Yeah, I noticed that. The skull. Wait. No, okay. Because there's a health upgrade and then a boatman coin really close together, sandwiched by stairs, which must be lower than this. I think we're too far up. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's this thing here. This? Yeah, hop up. Do you see the uh do you see the giant oh, like yes. bomb growth? There's a bomb growth. We have to blast that. Oh, there's also this um so oh I see. So by getting the crystals down, you jump up there, there's a platform, and then that goes over to the bomb area. That's up here. So we need to return when we have the ability to destroy the crystals. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, there's the boatman coin. Yeah, so there's boatman coins on top of this pillar here as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, I see. But yeah, it. we we are lacking whatever whatever ability breaks those red crystals. Alright, so then this is the last branch. Should be. The whole area is just throwing everybody off animation-wise. Maybe it's because of a slight collision effect with the wind? I, I can't describe it any other way. Another trophy. Yeah, or just slopes. Lots of games have issues with slopes. And like Z-axis attacks. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting. Is this something that I'm going to eventually be oh, able to do later? Oh, this is a warp point, probably. Right, but we can't do it yet. No. Man, this whole area looks like it's going to require backtracking through. Well, mm -hmm. I guess that does make it easier, because then we can just write the whole area off and be like, eh, later. Now, do you want to go down, or do you want to go over here? Uh, oh, this looks like a, an observation point. One thing I'll say about hell, it sure is... 
big. All the more reason we must act quickly. Lucifer will turn others to his cause while we search for him. Council sure does have it out for old Lucy. I don't envy the guy. He betrays the balance. We don't even know what he did. Our cause is just. Why must you always question? You should try asking some questions once in a while. Quit playing the good little soldier. I guess it's easier doing what we do if we don't need a reason. Brother, for your sake, let us carry on in silence. So they're really... He's worried about blasphemy. Yeah, they're really playing up Strife as... as kind of the dissident. Which honestly makes sense, because he was on Earth... For a while. Mm -hmm. And there absolutely was kind of the implication that uh, that the council was up to no good, even since the very beginning of Darksiders 1. 